How is it going guys and welcome to this video where I will present to you my opinion in what mods you will be needing in order to play Garrus mod at its full. And this is only my opinion guys, if you disagree, I guess you disagree, but this is just my opinion, you can follow it, you can try download it if you like it, dislike it, whatever, it's all up to you. So let's get started with the number one mod I think you should have. So guys, we'll start off by the tool stuff and all that, which is not props. So, uh, the first thing I definitely think you should have is the one called Smart Snap. And uh, what this basically does is create these um, squares on the props, um, which makes it very, very easy to place, um, for example, thrusters. So, like, you don't have to, like, sit there, hmm, I think this is about the middle. You just hold E and it jumps to the cross and then it sits right in the middle and your prop will go straight. That is definitely a thing I think you should really consider uh, downloading. And another thing uh, would be the Weld Smart. This is extremely smart. I have actually got it in my top 10 or top 5 add-ons, I think it is. See here, guys, if I wanted to weld all these, I could just select them, right click, and there we go. It welds them all very, very good instead of having to, instead of having weld it all with single welds. Really, 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 really useful tool. Uh, another um, really, really, really helpful tool is the weight tool. Um, it helps me out in lots of situations. You can set the weight of a prop. Now, let's ju uh, just for an example, uh, like if it's anno if it annoys you that this fence is so light that it won't fall that fast, it's like super light. See, like that, it's really annoying. We can see its weight is only five kilos. Now, if I put it to fifty thousand. It is very, very heavy, and now it will be able to kill you. Another bunch of tools I definitely think you should go download if you are experienced Garrus Mod player is the Wire Mod. Now, this gives you lots of tools, and uh, to be honest, guys, I don't know what half of this does. But what I know is that you can create lots, lots of stuff and make it even cooler than just a plane. You can make it a plane with a speedometer, you can make um, RCXD, whatever. Um, you can actually mod the Garrus mod from the inside, like, watch this if I'm going to make a new expression. You see here I have to create my own chip, um, which I will be able to wire stuff together with. Um, like, if you want to make um, an elevator that stops three different heights, you'll be using the expression two and uh, you can do lots of stuff with this you can make a uh, hunting missile whatever it's like with wire everything becomes possible now guys this does probably not come as any surprise for you but I'm completely in love with the VAC aircraft and I simply just love this mod definitely go download this um, mod and you in order to have the VAC aircraft at its full I would recommend you guys don't go download the VEC aircraft, the VEC, the VEC community 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and keep go with the updates that might come in the future, because these planes are simply just awesome, and you and you can have lots of fun with them, um, really, really, really nice, and they are really, really, really pretty. Another mod, um, which might work with the VEC aircraft, is the S-Cars, um, which is really, really, really cool. Um, there you can download, there's lots of add-ons for those as well. You can download S-Cars Junk, as you can see here, it's sort of... Oh, uh, well, I see that that did not work. Oh, what about this one? Okay, I do not know why that didn't work. Um, but you can download some, um, for example, Tiger Tank, and they've got really cool skins. It's really, really nice. Um, there's always something you can criticize it for, but this mod actually comes with a bunch of tools that uh, will make you able to sort of make... Um, the cars go for itself. You can see there, it's really fun. You can have like, lots of fun with this, and I would definitely recommend this mod if you need something new for your Harris mod. And guys, for the weapons, I really like these um, Counter Strike weapons um, simply just because they work 
really well with uh, Gear Spot because it's from Counter Strike, so it works really nice. Um, it's not any box with them stuff. It's really, really, really cool. And you have all Counter Strike weapons, and they're good for war, and they're good for like making stuff. I really like this. Uh, it's called um, Counter Strike weapons. No fooling, I guess. Um, works and it's no no error and stuff. Really, really nice. I would actually also recommend. Um, the NPC control. This way you can make some spawners, like if you're making a war, you can make a spawner that keeps spawn every fourth four second and the max spawn and stuff like that. You can make it really nice. For example, combine this with the S cars and the vac, you can make sort of a war on this platform and keep char charging it, like you don't have to spawn uh, enemies all the time. The spawner will do that, do that, or you can make sort of a base that um, NPCs will go patrol around and then you have to kill or kill them to get into the base or something. You can make a bunch of cool stuff with this and I've already done that. It's really really cool. Definitely go download that as well. But guys, of course now you have all these nice mods and stuff. It will also be really nice if you are having some good maps of course. Um, the GM Flatgrass is pretty nice, It's the, although it's not too too detailed. Um, I would definitely recommend the uh, BGM Big City I could show you here in add-ons um, is actually if you go under maps and then you go under top rated not trending and in here you will definitely you basically be seeing all what people like and GM Big City is at number one so I would recommend that one GM Big City GM GM Atomic, that is good for flying back as well. Uh, Jim Bix it is also. GM Northwest Airfield, GM Lair, really nice map. And GM Black Mesa Sigma, we've actually all had these maps in Map Show Off episodes, so if you like to check them out, go check those episodes out. Uh, Free Space 13 is also a really nice map. All these mods are really nice for these maps. Um, so go check them out. So thank you guys for watching and um, I hope this helped you a little bit. If you're new to Garrus Mod, I hope this will help you get on track. And thank you guys for watching and go check out our trailer. We've been working on it for quite a long time. It would be nice if you go there and like it. If you like what I'm doing or if you like what me and Dating are doing, Go hit that subscribe button and stay updated. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next episode.